villagers on the way back. Who's this? Oh, wait. Oh, my God. This person legit saw me and changed faction. Eve. Oh, we've lost half our army, but we are now in the gates. And we are swarming over the enemy, as you can see. Our first act of today's video, my friends, is to completely eliminate the Western Empire. Currently, the Western Empire have a 19-year-old with no family left because I executed them all, leading the Western Empire. As you can see, I've destroyed pretty much every single clan within the Western Empire, and only the clan of the forest people remain, their leader, Voldrat. And who do we have here, my friends? It is Voldrat of the Forest People, one of the only remaining clans of the Western Empire. And today, my friends, they will either join us or die. I'm going to go over to the right here because I want to try and make them run towards this mountain range. And then we can surely catch them up and kill them. If you guys are enjoying following this playthrough, by the way, please give the video a like. And also, you can find the rest of the playlist of all the videos in the playthrough in the description. I had a few people struggling to find them um, in the previous episode, and they were trying to figure out what order the episodes were. They are all in order in that playlist. But it looks like he has cornered himself, and he will have to either join me or die now, which is very exciting. Volrat of the forest people. Danny, it has been a while. Indeed it has. He actually has minus 82 relationship with us, but I am going to ask him if he would like to join us anyway. Your liege, Valdrat, is not worth your loyalty. What are you saying exactly? I am the rightful ruler of this land, and I would like your support. I barely know you and you are asking me to talk treason. But you may know me of a man of honor. Ah, a critical success. Indeed. Ah, yes, you are totally right. I gave my oath to my liege though. Well, if that 19 year old ever violated her oath to you, it absolves you of any duty to her. I'm going to charm him. A success indeed. I've always stood by Nadia. Whether Nadia has stood by me is another question. Well, she is 19. I don't really expect her to do much. Put your interest in the good of the realm first. There is too much at stake for that. Oh yes, he's joining us. <laughs> oh yes, you might be correct. Indeed, don't listen to that stupid 19-year-old. Very well, you've convinced me that this is something I can consider. This is a dangerous step, however, and I am putting the life and the lives of my people at risk. I need some sort of support from you before I can make... Very well, battle brother. I will give you... I kind of want most of the stuff I have, to be fair, so... Maybe I can give you a Sturgeon Trotter. Since you don't currently have any horses. How many would you like? Oh, oh, oh. Do you know what? I really don't care if you join me or not. Because I'm going to kill you anyway if you don't. So take this horse. I will chop your head off. <laughs> they have accepted. <laughs> Very well. This is a great step to take. But it must be done. Old rat of the forest people. Thank you very much, battle brother. Ha ha ha. It looks like he has decided to join us instead of... Oh, Western Empire defeated. The clans of the Western Empire! <laughs> the clans of the Western Empire have defected to surrounding kingdoms as their leader has given up all hope <laughs> of restoring the empire. She's like, I'm 19 and I'm literally on my own. There is no chance of us vi being victorious. Eliminate the Western Empire. All of the other remaining people joined the Northern Empire. Oh, interesting. The Northern Empire is the only one left for us to destroy now. Where is Nadia? She's, taking, she's been taken prisoner by Meritor as well. <laughs> Nadia is error. Text with ID strength faction official does not exist. <laughs> Rip. Oh my god, what a young age to die indeed. Now, since we've destroyed the Southern Empire and the Western Empire, and only the Northern Empire remains... They have actually had all of the clans that were previously in the other Empire clans join them. 
As you can see, they have a strength of 1,435, and they have actually been winning the war against us, I would say, because they've inflicted way more casualties on us. So my plan is to walk on Poros over here on the map, guys. Now, I can see here that Poros has 470 defenders. Now, my party is only 150 strong currently. Uh, we are elite infantry and many cavalry, so... What I'm going to do is run around the settlements so I can see some nobles in the distance here as we crest the top of this mountain. And we're going to try and capture some nobles and just kill them so, so they can't counterattack us when we actually capture the city of Poros. Starting with you, Sanion, over here. Traveling to Zestra, are you trying to recruit some people? Oh no, he spotted me and he's running for his life. But unfortunately for him, I have brought an army of cavalry. And also, I have a lot of horses in my inventory, so each man who doesn't have a horse is riding one, which gives us a lot of movement speed. So he's 28 years old. Um, are you the leader of your clan? No, Orios is. Okay, well, I'm afraid you're going to have to die in battle then, brother. Surrender or die? I don't have any wish to fight you, no. I don't care. Yield or fight? So we fight then. So we do battle, brother. Ah, oh, poor Sanion indeed. Okay then, let's... Uh... Archers! Go ahead and move our archers and tell them to go ahead. Bowman! Right, let's tell our guys to go move ahead and to advance. Soldiers! And I want my um, soldiers Arbats! advancing just behind them. And then the Footman! cavalry is coming After with me. me. I see the enemy over there. We're going to go right round behind them and absolutely devastate them. Do you know what? I just want to charge them head on because that'll be funner. This is going to be so fun. They have 27 spearmen. We're going to get an absolute run up on them when we go. Oh god, this is going to be beautiful. Oh, 25 damage. God, that is disgusting. Right, my cavalry is going to follow me over the fold here. Dude, are you trying to hit me there? Oh, hello there. Sanion. Here comes my cavalry through their ranks though. God, this is funny. Hey, look at that kill feed. I love it. Where's Sanion? Sanion's over there. All right, let's tell our men to charge it. Like so. They're all going to be dead by the time my other men get there, to be honest. Here come the infantry just to clean up, essentially. Oh, mate. 130 damage to your face. That is not a good look for you. There we have it, the enemies are fleeing, you have won the battle. And what a beautiful battle that was. Sanion, we're at your mercy. Oh, and what's this? We have an army of about, what's that, about 100 people there attacking my settlement. Fantastic, we can crush them. We can crush them in one fell swoop, Battle Brothers. Oh my god, it's Regia! The old leader of the Southern Empire. I cannot wait to execute her. Wait, can I have her join me now? One sec. <laughs> the southern third of the empire is ruled by Regia. Yeah, not anymore, I think. She now belongs to the northern empire. <laughs> oh, that's so satisfying. I'd like you to join me. What are you saying exactly? I'm the rightful ruler of these lands, I think you'll find. I barely know you and you're asking me to talk treason. Yes, of course. Oh my god, critical success on the charm. My god, this is fantastic. Ah, you know very well that politics oaths are easily made and can just as easily be broken. I mean, you are siding with the enemy already, so... No, why is it always ineffective? Okay, 94% chance. Danny stands up for what you believe in, while Faron does not. I like how I'm talking about myself in third person. Yes, always successful when you talk about yourself in third person. It just makes you seem like a god. Believe me, I'm generous to those who come to me early. Perhaps not as generous to those who come late. Oh no, come on, I really want to recruit her. That would be so funny. Oh no, I'm going to have to kill her. I'm going to have to execute her. They do have 100 men, but we outnumber them. Right, let's everyone just advance. I'm going to put the cavalry on our flank this time. They do have 100 people, so ideally you want to take minimal losses here. Looks like they're going to sit on the higher ground there. Archers! Right, we can just move, move our archers up forward! and our infantry in a shield wall. 
Forward! Right, let's put our archers over here and then the men. We're gonna go ahead and charge them in. And our cavalry are already causing chaos. I kind of want to distract the um, Infantry! After me! the cavalry, I mean the archers if we can, so I'm going to tell my cavalry to come in and charge with me, just because we don't want them shooting my infantry. Our archers are just going to kill pretty much everyone who's on the back line. Infantry, move! Tell our infantry to get in and attack these archers now. They've literally done no damage to us. Just an absolute wipe. An absolute wipe battle. All of my men are true battle brothers and they need to know it. Enemies are fleeing. You've won the battle. Lol, Regia is your leader. That's funny. You're my prisoner now. Ah, Regia, you are my prisoner now. I'm actually going to execute you because you didn't join me. That's very unfortunate for you. There we go. All upgraded. Ah, look at all this loot we have. Thank you so much, Regia. You're so kind. Just to show you guys that, by the way, we are on realistic difficulty some people said in the comments that um combat ai should be on challenging to make it harder now personally i've not noticed any difference at all um like the ai seems to be pretty spazzy sometimes like for example if you have one horse archer behind the ai the ai will react to them and like turn their whole shield wall with their backs against like the main majority of your army to face that one horse archer to try and deal with it. So I kind of think that the game doesn't really account for that very well. But anyway, we've got to execute Regia. Where is she? Leader of the Southern Empire and traitor to her own people. Must be executed. She gave up. There you go. No one else had the heart to do it. I did what could not be done with anyone else. I wonder if that's lowered any relationships with people in my kingdom. So our next job is to come over here to Lyceron. We're going to sell our stuff and recruit some more people. And then we're going to go and lay siege with our army to Poros. While we are skirmishing with the Northern Empire, do note that they have still done more damage to us in the grand scheme of things, even though we have taken more prisoners very recently. I've just been capturing their nobles, so they can't raid or counterattack us anymore. Now we must create an army. We must tell the Bannermen to join us. Anyone who is around a day away will be called. We just need to recruit some troops as well. And now we march south to Poros. It may be worth me visiting my own settlement to actually gather a few more troops. However, when my army does arrive to bolster my ranks, we should have enough men for this war. Maybe we'll even raid some local villages on the way back. Who's this? Oh, wait. Oh, my God. This person legit saw me and changed faction. <laughs> Patres of the Embers has joined Sturgia. I want to go and ask him if he wants to join me. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me your name, forgive me if I have not met you before and do not remember the occasion. For I have seen many warriors come to this land and pass, and pass swiftly into their shallow graves. Okay, I can't ask him because he's not like the leader of his clan. He legit saw me coming over the horizon and changed allegiance. <laughs> oh, I'm an evil man, to say the least. Okay, let's go to Tivar, just here. Um, and I'm going to recruit some troops. Oh, I can't. God damn it. We just force them to... Oh, they're defending themselves against me. Okay, I'll attack you then. No problem. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to tell my boys to do their own thing. There is a slight river, however. All our cavalry will destroy them. Oh, my God. The archers are already raining havoc. And now our cavalry is about to charge in and destroy these easy peasants. Oh, God, that's brutal. I can't even see them. They're still alive. There's still men alive there. Goodness me, they do have some spears. They are getting killed by my archers, though. These men are even running. How dare you? How dare you try to attack me? I'm your future leader. Are there any more men? Oh, they do have a few archers up there. Okay. Okay, well, they're also fleeing now. That's a nice story. Looks like we've beaten them. We lost no men again. Yeah, enemy AI just doesn't make a difference at all, though. Okay, so we have some more troops now. One, two, three, four, five, six people have joined us. Fantastic. 
go ahead and leave with our bolstered forces. I'm just going to walk over to um, Poros now. They do have a lot of nobles running around. However, maybe I can capture you. Oh, oh. Tachanus is coming over. Perhaps he will come and attack her. No, he's really slow. He doesn't have many cavalry. Nah, she's going to be able to get away. Let's just go over to Poros and uh, lay siege to it. Now, it has 444 defenders, so I am going to wait for Sir Chanas to actually come and join me in case they do run out and attack me. Then we can go ahead and begin this siege. Besiege the town, indeed. Right, let's go ahead and build a battering ram and some siege towers. Uh, and also, I'm going to build a trebuchet and... The settlement Allison is under attack from Era's party of the Northern Empire. Well, that's not very nice. Yeah, so the only thing I think... Uh, we look at the difficulty the uh, combat ai changes is um the enemy's ability to deal with you on like the campaign map it doesn't really seem to change anything else in the game um in terms of like you know how well the ai actually deal with you during a battle i feel like they're still pretty derpy and need a bit of improvement to be honest we have a force of 300 we're starting to even out um, against the enemy so you know this is going to be a pretty nice siege to say the least so a quick tip for those of you who don't know because i keep getting reminded to tell you guys this in the comment section um once you've built a trebuchet or a siege equipment piece um the enemy ballistas uh, as siege equipment will usually shoot it and destroy it before you can do anything so one thing you can do is click on it and then click move to reserve now that just removes the trebuchet and then you can carry on building it. And once you have all four, you can then unpause the game and you'll actually be able to fight the enemy castle. You see, I just dodged all that damage. Um, and now you might be wondering, what's the point in doing this? Now, essentially, what happens is that you'll be, like, destroying their walls, which will make the siege battle a lot faster. So we have everything laid out now, as you can see. Now, another thing you can do uh, is if, if you press play, you'll see that the ballistas are going to start firing at your siege equipment. So as you can see, they're currently firing at this piece of siege equipment on the left-hand side. What I can do is I can move it to the reserves again. And as you can see, it does no damage. Forest people left the kingdom of Battleborn. Yep, great. That's fantastic. Currently, the enemy has two days of food. So I kind of want to reduce their morale before we actually attack them as well. I want that city to be starving. All right, we're going to carry on damaging the city until these siege engines are almost destroyed, and then we will actually begin the battle. Now, you can see on the walls, we have already damaged a lot of the castle, so they don't have many places to stand and defend themselves with their archers. But now, let's go ahead and also deploy and begin the assault. Look at the giant force we've brought with us. And this is actually a big battle because I've got the maximum number of troops on as well okay so i'm gonna actually gonna stop on my horse here and dismount i'm gonna whip out my bow and start no actually we need to turn our reticle on on gameplay i think there we go i see you there battle brother get wrecked son and you get wrecked son oh 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 taking a lot of damage there hopefully the battering ram makes it up because it is key in our assaults here Let's see if i can shoot these guys on the wall get wrecked son beautiful i see you there trying to be sneaky eh oh they just got hit by a rock and didn't die I'm kind of surprised to are you shooting me battle brother oh god he is Stop that at once, please. Oh, yes. There we go. The archers just keep standing here, and I'm pelting them with arrows. This is perfect. Get wrecked, mate. Oh, God. I think I'm getting hit by a lot of people on the walls here. He's moving back. He knows not to mess with me. Right, I'm just going to walk back to my men, because this is getting a bit hairy for me. And I can start shooting them again. Oh, don't aim that bird at me, Battle Brother. 
There we go. Let's get rid of that crossbowman. Beautiful, there we go. Looks like some of the troops are coming to reinforce the walls here. I can see you there, Battle Brother. Get wrecked. Think you can hide in the darkness from me? Right, I'm going to leave my siege tower buddies to go and do as they please while I carry on taking out these men up here. Can't believe I missed that. We're going to push. Battle Brothers, we're going to push this wall down. There we go. Eve. Oh! Mate, we are getting absolutely creamed by these archers, my god. We're losing men. A lot of men. Over three times as much as the enemy has lost so far. But once we get down these gates, my men will follow me in and we will destroy them. I can just hear the screams of my men dying behind me. And the peasants falling on the floor. Our morale is being lowered, Battle Brothers. It's not looking good for us so far. Right, I need the axe men to get in here and start dealing some damage. Perhaps we can find an axe on the floor, maybe. All right, we're breaking down the walls here. The enemies are throwing rocks on our heads. However, we will eventually get the gate down. It's already halfway there. I'm going to two-hand my spear and thrust the enemy as we go inside here. What a master archer she is. Look at this guy just looking upwards. Come, Battle Brothers, we must attack. Die! 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 Charge! Yes! Your shield will not work against us, brother. We've lost half our army, but we are now in the gates. And we are swarming over the enemy, as you can see. I'm going to get on top of the battlements here and start joining my brothers. I'll let the men deal with the shield wall. They're already doing a fantastic job there. Out of my way, you fat lard. That's right. Kill him. Kill him. I right, finally picked up a sword. Fantastic. I'm going to go up to the top of these battlements and kill anyone I find. We've diminished the Empire's army by half. They have nobody left to defend themselves, as you can see. Assassino! Oh, mate, that was a lot of damage up there. Never mind, I will join my brothers in combat here. And I will slay these Northern Empire scum. The last remains of the Empire indeed. Kill him, Brassel Brothers! Well done. Well done indeed. Goodness, mate, my athletic skill is so high now in comparison to how it used to be. Look at this guy. Oh, God, he hit me with a hammer. Jesus. How are you blocking me? This peasant is strong. He's a strong boy, but he's dead. It looks like the enemy shield wall is still going. Might have to go down there and help my battle brothers. Okay, 172 men have died and 149 were wounded. Almost as many as the enemies. We're marching into the city now with our men to reclaim the center of the town. And the final troops cowering in the corners of the city. Oh my god, I just killed myself by falling off. Oh, 34 renown, 25 influence, and 15 morale, despite me capping myself off the edge of the battlement. <laughs> oh, we lost a lot of men, though. 150 were wounded, 172 died. Uh, 209 died on the enemy team, though, which is even more once we got through their defences. And 112 were wounded. So that's a lot of prisoners for us, Battle Brothers. We're at your mercy. Yarn of the Laker at. Ah, looks like you will die like your father. I'm sorry to say. Oh, look at all these people to be upgraded. Fantastic. Fantastic. Give me all of that loot. My god, that is beautiful. Horus is taken. The election has started. Indeed, it has. The election will begin. And who would get it? Brandon of the Wolfskins? I think not. I think Meritor should have it because i trust him <laughs> i don't want to have to recapture this in 10 minutes
Poros has been given to Meritor with the majority of votes. Indeed it has. All right, I'm going to go ahead and disband my army now. And I'm going to recruit some troops before my men do. Apparently I have 69 wounded men. Uh, I think we have a party speed of 5.6. Here's a party speed of 4.9. Here's a lot of infantry, so we can actually catch him and kill him. Um, however, that's going to be a tricky battle because I don't have enough health to command my troops. And on veteran difficulty, if you auto-resolve the battle, um, that are probably a lot of men are going to die. However, it is worth it for us catching Sanion. Ooh, Faron is over there as well. Okay, I want to send my troops into battle here. Danny, it's been a while. It has indeed, Battle Brother. Surrender or die then. I don't care. Yield or fight. So we fight then. Send in my troops. So against 45 men, as you can see. Oh, we only lost five guys and nine were wounded. I guess it's because we outnumber them and have cavalry. That must be the only reason. Okay, yeah, I'm going to take all these men prisoner. Of course I am. And all of this loot. Fantastic. Thank you so much. But yeah, we are still on realistic difficulty. Challenging AI. Um, yeah, it's just... We would have lost less men if I got to command them myself, though. Does this guy want to fight me? 3.8 speed. I mean, we can easily catch him. Oh, he's running now. I actually am going to hunt him down, though. Vipon has created an army near Varagos, um, which is very interesting. Let's have a look what their plan is. Currently, he is just gathering his men. That is going to be an army of 371 men. I'm interested because Sinopia is just here, and that is another city that needs to be taken. I'm wondering if he's going to try and siege it, but here we have Faron, and I think Faron is actually the leader of a faction, so hopefully we can catch him up here with all my horse troops. Danny, I don't know what I have, what we have to say to each other. He actually currently hates me. Oh my god, he's 67. This is the leader, isn't it? This is the leader, Faron. Yeah, he's the leader of the Northern Empire. Oh, my friend, you're about to be destroyed in battle. I did indeed take Poros. Surrender or die. I have no wish to fight you. <laughs> Do you think I care? Do you think I care, brother? 67 years old. Are you going senile out here alone in the countryside, hey? I will attack you myself. All right, we do have to be careful, though, because, uh... Stay close! Let's just get everyone to follow me. Infantry! I think the enemy are moving up. Move and move! move. Put my men Infantry! over this hill. Forward! Put men just behind them. I'm yeah. going to go ahead and assault these, uh, hero cataphrats if we can. My archers are going to take out their infantry. I mean, they look like they're not really very experienced, to be honest. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Steady on there, Battle Brother. My horses are coming through their infantry now. Hilarious. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, I just told my infantry to charge. And took a little bit of damage because I wasn't looking where I was actually going there. Oh, very nice shot from the archers there. Very nice indeed. Our infantry are cleaning them up. Oh, Imperial Cataphrag gets wrecked. Right, let's uh, send our horsemen over here with these archers. Oh, God, okay, I was taken out by an archer. I was blocking as well. Sadly, they still hit me. Come on, horses, attack. Like, are you serious? This is, this is what triggers me about the AI. They don't know how to deal with enemy archers. Like, shield wall and walk towards them, but like that's what I would do. But currently we have a bunch of people running around like idiots. And finally now my cavalry are charging. But yeah, the AI are just dumb. Like, even on challenging, they're not clever about their battle plan. At all, in my opinion. Or at least they're easy to exploit because you're a human, right? So you have like a huge advantage. As you guys can see, uh, we are winning this easily. Only two men have been wounded. And we have killed their entire army of uh, 50 people and 12 treated. You're at my mercy, Faron. Call yourself the leader of the Empire when your men abandon you in battle. A wuss, I say. A wuss. My men would fight to the last man standing. So as you can see, Faron is the leader of the Northern Empire. Currently, we have equal casualties. They're still winning this war, though, in terms of casualties. And they've also had a lot more successful raids because they have so many clans raiding all of our villages. But their strength is diminished. And I'm now going to go ahead and execute the leader of the Northern Empire. Here he is. Get wrecked, son. It was good knowing you. <laughs> Forget it. I don't think so. Get destroyed. 
barrel. He's an old man anyway. He would have died of old age soon enough. You're over the prisoner limit. I don't actually care though. So Temion is the new leader of the Northern Empire. And he will obviously... Oh wait, he's already been taken prisoner by um, us actually a few days ago. That's hilarious. So we already have the new leader of the uh, Northern Empire, a prisoner, which is quite hilarious. As you can see, Foros is ours and our campaign is growing ever stronger. So now only two places in the Northern Empire remain. Firstly, it is the huge, the huge garrison of Tamna Castle. And then secondly, Sanopia over here, who I think Vipon could actually be potentially attacking but guys i'm going to end today's episode there and you can join us in the next episode to see the northern empire completely destroyed from the face of Calradia. no longer will the empire be a scourge to my eyes on the map here so guys i want to thank you all for watching all the likes on the video thank you so much for your support on the series i'll see you in the next episode linked below in the playlist of course goodbye and have a great day